the first one that I'm going to explore is the cost of bravery. There's another type of secret, dark secrets that must not be named, which gets very little press outside of tech circles. We're ending Black History Month by revealing these Voldemort level secrets of ethics in AI. You know, I'm aware that by speaking on the topic of AI ethics, it, it puts me at risk of the same fate as many of my colleagues in academia and industry. The consequences range from having your internet accounts banned to having your academic reputation tarnished to being asked to go on medical leave even though you're not sick and ultimately to losing your job. This was the cost of bravery for Google's former ethical AI team leaders, Dr. Timnit Jebru and Dr. Margaret Mitchell. The cost was a public attack on MIT researcher Joy Ulam Weenie's work on facial recognition bias by Amazon. The cost was the untold jobs lost in efforts to form new tech worker unions. These brave souls knew the risk to their careers, their income, and their families. They felt this fear directly and they still chose to speak up. They chose to speak up because they know that we are at a major turning point in the tech industry. I know that outside of the tech world, these departures may not seem like a big deal. After all, we're living more comfortably. Our purchases magically arrive at our doorsteps. News is more convenient and fun when we see updates from our friends. And there's an endless source of movies and entertainment available at our fingertips. What more could we ask for? What more? What could these brave souls be sharing that would possibly merit such personal and professional risk? Well, let me ask you this. How much would you trust a facial recognition technology if it identified you as the wrong gender just because your skin was a little darker? How would you feel? Pretty shitty. Probably. Yeah. Would you feel comfortable having this technology used by the US law enforcement? No? No? In 2018, MIT researcher Joy Ulamwini published a video on facial recognition bias. Her video was particularly critical of Amazon's AI for facial recognition, uh, recognition with a K. Amazon stated on their site that recognition was being used by US law enforcement. Joy showed that Amazon had an error rate of up to 34.7% when identifying the gender of images of women with dark skin, compared to error rates of, say, 17% from competitors like IBM. But if you looked at the error rate, it was less than 1% for men and women of light 
skinned colors. The video included the now iconic picture of Oprah Winfrey, labeled by Amazon's recognition as a 76.5% chance of being male. So what did Amazon do? Amazon blasted her study as making erroneous claims in a blog post. And even after a coalition of researchers, including AI pioneer and recent Turing Award winner, Joshua Benigo, they came to her defense, but the damage had already been done. You see, the post wasn't directed at other computer science researchers, but rather it was designed to sow doubt among the general public. It took over two years for Amazon to place a one year moratorium on using recognition for law enforcement. And by the way, this moratorium is set to expire this June. So the victory was short lived. The Amazon vlog post claimed that they had a less than 1% error rate for people of different ethnicities. What? But Joyce found 34.7%. So this led Joy to say, mm, we can't just leave it to the companies alone to do these kind of checks. We can't leave it to the companies. We can't leave the checking to the companies themselves. But that leads to the question, like who? Who has the time, the knowledge, the capacity to audit AI like this? I promise I will give more on this later.